Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, allow me to guide you on a journey of faith and hope where divine power shines through the darkness of war in Gaza, a region deeply scarred by conflict. God has performed an awe-inspiring miracle that profoundly touches the soul and renews faith. Today, I present to you an extraordinary testimony, a narrative resonating with the transformative power of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the midst of war and despair in Gaza, a miracle has unfolded, reflecting the grace of God more than 200 Muslims have reported experiencing encounters with Jesus, a clear manifestation of his presence and transformative influence. Before delving into the details of this miraculous testimony, it is crucial to grasp the context in which it transpired. Gaza, a region devastated by conflict, has borne witness to unimaginable suffering. The entire population of Gaza lives under siege, trapped amid the ruins of the city with no opportunity to escape to safer areas. In the midst of this chaos, a group of Muslim men, burdened by pain and loss, found an unexpected refuge, the word of God shared by devoted servants of Christ. These men, many of whom had lost their children in the conflict, received nourishment, clothing, and care from Christian ministers operating in Gaza. Professor Michael Lona, a devoted servant of Christ and president of Rise and Jesus Incorporated has received reports from Christian ministers in Palestine regarding miraculous conversions. Hundreds of Muslims have embraced the Christian faith during these challenging times, seemingly inspired by a remarkable event. These individuals, burdened by the anguish of war and the loss of children, discovered hope amid their suffering when the Lord intervened. While reading the Bible and sharing Jesus' message of peace, a remarkable miracle unfolded. Jesus appeared to over 200 of them in their dreams. In a context marked by intense suffering and violence, these men found solace and comfort in Jesus' presence. Following this extraordinary event, they made the life-changing decision to embrace Christianity, a phenomenon that surpasses rational explanation. The shared appearance of Jesus to hundreds of men, though seemingly inexplicable, bears witness to the presence of our Lord in places where human suffering and violence are most prevalent. Jesus provided strength and courage to those who had lost everything brothers, sisters, relatives and children. This is not the first instance where the Lord has used his servant, Professor Lona, to guide people to Christ. Lona, renowned for books like The Case for the Resurrection of Jesus and Paul Meets Muhammad, played a vital role in the conversion journey of Nabil Qureshi, formerly a Muslim and now a passionate defender of the Christian faith. Lona's impactful work has touched numerous lives, presenting historical evidence of the Christian faith that has transformed many hearts. The miracle in Gaza should be a cause for celebration among Christians globally. It serves as a clear indication that God is active even in the darkest places, offering hope and salvation. While we rejoice in these conversions, we must not overlook the challenges faced by our Christian brothers and sisters in Gaza. As Christians, we cannot remain indifferent. In our own way, we express hope and request that Israel evacuate Christians and civilians to safer areas. At present, Christians in Gaza find themselves confined in churches, facing shortages of food, water and medical supplies. It is a dire situation for Palestinian Christians forced to endure the violence of war. Despite the hardships, these believers stand unwavering in their faith, serving as witnesses to the redeeming power of Christ even in the bleakest circumstances. The simultaneous appearance of Jesus in the dreams of hundreds of Muslims, however, serves as a significant beacon of hope, a reminder that even during profound trials, God does not forsake his children. It should also serve as a caution to those responsible for the brutal violence that spares not even the children. Dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect on these occurrences, let us remember to pray. Pray for those who have encountered Christ in their dreams, that they may be strengthened in faith and discover peace in the Lord. 
pray for the Christians and civilians in Gaza, that they may find safety and relief. Additionally, pray for a peaceful resolution of conflicts, so that the light of Christ may persist in the darkest circumstances. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new videos and join the community of faith and prayer. May God bless us all. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a humble and open heart, recognizing the need for the guidance and presence of the Holy Spirit in my life. As I embark on this journey of consecration to the Holy Spirit, I surrender myself completely to your divine will. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I invite you into the depths of my being. Take control of my thoughts, words, and actions. Purify my heart and transform me into a vessel of your grace. I long to be filled with your gifts and fruits that I may reflect your love and goodness to the world. I consecrate to you my mind, that it may be attuned to your wisdom and understanding. Guide my thoughts and grant me clarity in discerning your will. I consecrate to you my heart, that it may beat in harmony with yours. Infuse it with love, joy, peace, and all the virtues that emanate from your divine presence. O Holy Spirit, I consecrate to you my soul, the inner sanctuary where you desire to dwell. Ignite in me the fire of your love, and may it burn brightly, dispelling any darkness within. I surrender my weaknesses and sins to your transforming power trusting in your mercy and forgiveness. Come Holy Spirit and empower me to live a life rooted in holiness. Lead me on the path of righteousness and grant me the courage to bear witness to your truth. I consecrate to you my actions, that they may be directed by your inspiration and for the greater glory of God. I consecrate to you my relationships, asking for your guidance in my interactions with others. May your love flow through me, fostering unity and understanding among your people. I consecrate to you my challenges and trials, trusting that your strength will sustain me in times of difficulty. O Holy Spirit, Divine Comforter, I consecrate this journey to you, seeking your constant companionship. May your gentle promptings lead me closer to God and mold me into a true disciple of Christ. I make this consecration with faith, hope, and love, trusting that you will be my constant guide and advocate. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.